I'm Glenn Everett, Master of Machines. Join us as we check out Barry's beautiful HK Holden Premier, a Cougar convertible that started his collection, and a HT350 Bathurst Monaro Survivor. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content coming your way. Tell us where it all started with you for cars. I mean, I've known you for a while, and I think I'll be right in saying that you live and breathe cars 24-7. Yeah, you're probably right there, Glenn. It all started for me, gee, probably back when I was almost able to walk. Uh, Dad's been in the automotive repair industry and had cars all of our lives. So, you know, as a my first memories are going and getting a 916 ring spanner out of the uh, toolbox for Dad uh, when he was laying underneath the old HQ. Uh, so that's where it all started for me and then it's just grown and grown and grown from there. One of your passions is the XD and XE Falcon. Tell us about that. Dad was, I think, a service manager at Lion Ford back in 82 and he came home with his brand new company car which was a charcoal 351 four-speed XE ESP um, and it's just imprinted on my brain from there. And you do have some other brains here, don't you? Yeah, there's a few others floating around. I've got a beautiful HK Prem here that's uh, Helen, my wife's absolute favourite car. Uh, I've got a couple of Bathurst Monaros, HTs. I'm looking for a Cobra. So I'm going to do a little bit of refining, move a couple of the XDs and Es uh, and a couple on, and then bring a couple of new ones into the collection. What an old classic, mate. This beautiful HK Premier. Tell us all about it. Oh, this is just stunning. It's actually a 1968 HK Prem, 186 Power Glide. Uh, and as you can see, it's just in absolutely amazing condition. Just absolute class and luxury. I think the silver mink paint with the black trim. And the trim is spectacular. It reminds me of an old 60s lounge chair with the yeah. buttons and the, the pleats. It's, it's beautiful. It, it is amazing. And I'm told uh, that the back seat and everything's all original trim. It's in amazing wow. condition from 68. Gee, so maybe it might have been an old couple's car? It may have been. It's actually got its full service history. Uh, he wrote down all of the mileage that he did in the first 10 or 15 years. All that paperwork came with the car. So I think it was an older person's car and they certainly looked after it. It's probably the most reliable car I've got in my collection. Every time I hop in it, I pull the truck out, turn the key, it starts and off we go and drive. So it's just a fantastic old cruiser to take out. It just oozes a class, being a Premier and the colour. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, the colour's just fantastic. I've used it for a few weddings for friends of mine, uh, and it just photographs so well, looks so good on the road. It's just a really stunning colour with the black trim too. It really complements it. The Cougar's a pretty interesting machine, the convertible. Business was going okay, and I was just get, starting to get a few dollars together, and I thought I'd really like to, to restore a car with Dad um, and start my collection off, in essence, as it was. So I found the Cougar. Uh, it had been imported from the States. It's a Genuine 1969 uh, Cougar 351 Windsor 4V. It's the XR7 convertible. Uh, so Dad and I put that together over about four or five years. So there's a real emotional tie back with Dad and I to that car. Dad quite often takes it out on his birthday for a drive and uh, we're we'll the only two guys that get in it and drive that one. So it's a really special bond between the two of us. And he's still turning spanners today, isn't he, your dad? He's still turning spanners today <laughs> and I suppose with the collection, uh, I, try, I keep him off the streets and nice and busy. <laughs> Barry, is this what I think it is? Yeah, Glenn, this is a genuine 1969 HT Bathurst 350 manual Monaro. Wow, where did you pick this up from? A good mate of mine actually rang me and said, I know where there's a Monaro, you really should come have a look at it. The next thing is, it's less than five minutes away from where I live and I've been driving past it every day for 10 years. So it's just been stored away? Just been stored away in a carport for 10 years with the previous owner. What a dream find. It's done 111,000 miles. Uh, some of the paint's still original, original engine bay, uh, original interior still. Original engine, matching number engine, never been out of the car. Big tank, big fuel tank? Big fuel tank, uh, correct gearbox, all the right wheels. You know, a couple of little things that's been missing, but we'll put those back on it and keep it pretty much exactly as it is. What an epic car and a Bathurst winner they were too, weren't they? Yeah, look, they were a Bathurst winner. They was, I think from my memory, it was the Bathurst winning car in 1969 was the HT. So they are an absolute epic car. I'm lucky enough to have two of them at the moment. Because so often over the years, as you and I both know, you'd see so many of the Monaros and other cars hotted up, drag raced, engine swaps, braided hoses everywhere. Yeah. Not that I don't like that sort of thing, but it's, it's rare to find one that's just still factory stock. And look, there was a time there where the cars weren't worth a lot of money, so people were hotting them up and, and all of those performance parts in the 70s and 80s. 
So to now find ones that are basically dead original is just amazing. And you've also got one in the build too, I believe, a blue one in the restoration process? Yeah, I've got another HT350 in the build at the moment. I'm just uh, finishing the engine off, just about to put it back in. Uh, and I'll actually be selling that one. Maybe I could sell my house and buy it. <laughs> yeah, no problem at all. We can work out a deal there. Thanks for watching and we'd really appreciate it if you'd like and comment on this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notifications bell because there's a lot more content coming your way. And stay tuned to see more of Barry's collection in a future episode.